using profanity in a public setting and making two racially insensitive comments. And of course, he was cleared of any criminal violations under the Uniform Court of Military Justice, but this corrupt, evil president threw out this great American hero who commanded the U.S. Naval Forces in charge of aircraft carriers in the Mediterranean Sea the night of the Benghazi assault. They got rid of him. Now, if I were running those hearings, I would bring him under testimony. I'd make him swear in a Bible, uh, and I would protect him any way I could, but I'd make him testify that he was told to stand down. Major General Ralph Baker, U.S. Army. Commander of the Joint Task Force Horn at Camp Lamar in, D in Djibouti, Africa. He was involved with, in some aspect of the Benghazi incident. He was relieved of command and fired by Obama for allegedly groping a civilian. Allegedly groping a civilian. But no assault charges or sexual misconduct charges were ever filed with military JAG officials. Again, a purge like that of Stalin. I have all the names. I've given you three. Ham, Goet, and Baker. That's enough for today. I would bring, I would bring any one of them up there and ask them to say who told them to stand down. Was it the State Department? Was it the Executive Office? Which buffer in the State Department, which buffer, Mr. Cheech, was it who told you not to, not to bring help to Benghazi? Who was the buffer? Who was the buffer? Admiral, who was the buffer, General? What do you think? Is she doing well? Is she failing? Is she winning? How do you think the hearings are going for her? WMAL, Richard, fire away. What's your opinion of the hearings as you watch them? Uh, how are you doing? Uh, my name is Richard, and uh, Dr. Savage is truly a proud to speak with you. Okay, okay, guys, listen to me. I appreciate that, but I'm not one of those insecure talk show hosts who need to hear that. Just give us your statement or comment, please. I'm somebody who admires and appreciates a brilliant and appreciates somebody putting themselves out there. And for that... All right, all right, I accept all of that, but how do you think she's doing on the panel, uh, Richard? I think that what is going on there is shameful. <sighs> all right, we'll have to leave it at that. Next, the call screener will ask you in advance what you think. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Doing and others, you know, we are prohibited, so it's a constant, Listen again, it goes back to that balancing of uh, risk Zhu and reward speaking. that we're always doing. Going back Madam to Zhu the ARB conducted by uh, Admiral opinion. Mullins and, and, and Ambassador Pickering, how many of their recommendations the did um, the U.S. Secretary of State accept? I accepted all of them. They made 29 recommendations, Congresswoman. I accepted all, right. all this 29 This is a friendly question. This is one of the buffers that she uses. Them we can tune it out now. We are watching the obvious, and there's nothing new here. It's a woman with a thousand faces. And as I said earlier on my Facebook, proving she has the number one qualification to be president. She can lie with a straight face better than anyone on the planet. And keep the cat that ate the cream smile. The only thing that would save this country from the scourge of the Clintons would be to bring in General Carter Ham or General or Rear Admiral Charles Gouet or uh, Major General Ralph Baker, all fired right after Benghazi for very suspicious reasons. We all know that they were told not to send support. They were, we all know. We all know this. The subtext of this whole hearing is that Ambassador Stevens was let to die by Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama because he was not there to be an ambassador. He was there to take weapons that Gaddafi had left behind and bring them to Syria to give to the anti-Assad forces. That's what the subterranean Internet talk is all about and has been about for two or three years. Now, you could dismiss it because you didn't read it in the Daily News if you want, but if you rely upon the New York Times or any other tabloid for your news, well, good luck to you. Now, the only thing you could save us is a surprise witness, and we're not going to get it. So I think that to make the most use of my time, we'll continue to go in and out of the hearings as they're running live right now, and you will see her getting away with virtual murder, sitting there with the cat that ate the cream smile, which is exasperating for honest people. Honest people watch this woman lie, and they know the type. We've all gone to school with this type ever since the first grade. We, uh, we can characterize her in a number of ways.
Women especially know what type this is. I don't think she's as popular amongst women as you may believe. Women are far more analytical about other women than men could ever be. And they could look right through this character. They know who she is. But the issue is, did she do anything wrong? Forget whether you like her or her politics. What wrong did she actually do? What difference does it make that an ambassador and very loyal CIA and other operatives died? After all, what difference does it make? Not to her, it doesn't make any difference. I mean, if they'll kill the head of a state and wipe out a country for political gain, if they'll wreck Syria and cause millions of refugees to swarm across the globe, what difference does it make if, a, if an ambassador got knocked off? If you want to make an omelet, you got to break a few eggs. What difference does it really make when you're Madame Zhu and life has no value to you except your own value whatsoever? So I think the best thing to do is talk about Sidney Blumenthal. Who is Sidney Blumenthal? He's the snake that keeps getting mentioned. Sidney Blumenthal is a former uh, low-level journalist, a creep of the lowest order who couldn't get a real job. So he became a journalist, then went and ingratiated himself with Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, worked for them for years, ingratiated himself with George Soros and Media Matters, that group. And he's been a smear artist for them for years. A hatchet man, a smear artist. But what we're about to disclose for you on the show today is worth your listening to. Patrick Howley of Breitbart actually did the research on this. And Secret Advisor Blumenthal's business plans for Libya were exposed by him. He got them from the Megazi Committee Chairman Rep. Trey Gowdy. I don't know if you're going to hear any of this today because I haven't heard it yet. But they found it. And it was from the new uh, Clinton email dump. Blumenthal, Blumenthal was feeding Clinton private intelligence on Libya. Right? And what was Blumenthal doing? Obama, by the way, was opposed, was, by the way, was opposed to deposing Gaddafi. Did you know that? Obama and his aides were opposed to deposing or killing Gaddafi. He didn't want to do it. It was Hillary who led the charge. She wanted Gaddafi dead and gone. And at the same time, she wanted Gaddafi in Libya dead and gone. The snake Blumenthal, who was advising her to knock off Gaddafi, Gowdy wrote this, at the same time Blumenthal was pushing Clinton to war in Libya, he was privately pushing a business interest of his own in Libya that stood to profit from contracts with the new Libyan government, a government that would exist only after a successful U.S. intervention in Libya that deposed Gaddafi. Now, Blumenthal denied through his lawyer that he was on the payroll of the military consulting firm Osprey Global Solutions, which was looking to expand its business in Libya with the post-Gaddafi transitional government. I'll read you more from this incredible article by Patrick Howley, how Blumenthal, who pushed for the, 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 the elimination of Gaddafi, against Obama's wishes, by the way, uh, what he was to gain from it. And then you'll find a little bit more about Sidney Blumenthal. He has a son named Max, an all-around self-hating Jew, who hates the state of Israel. Sidney Blumenthal has a son named Max Blumenthal, who is a foaming mad, self-hating Jew, according to those who've studied everything he's written and done. Max Blumenthal, his psychotic offspring, in my opinion, has compared Israel to Nazi Germany and has, and has called for the expulsion of the Jews from Israel. Is that what you want advising the President of the United States? This is the Savage Nation. Let's take some calls. Jackson, no, Jason on KSFO, fire away, you're on, on the show. Yeah, Dr. Savage, good afternoon. Um, I just want to make a point here. Uh, you, you hit the nail on the head before when uh, you said that uh, Fox News is against uh, Obama, or I'm sorry, forgive me, against the Republican Party. Uh, Obama actually stated previously, and I don't know if it was a 2008 or 2012 election um, or campaign, that uh, they're like a wrestling match, um, you know, like WWE, where they, they have both, but they have the same agenda at the end of the day. And I believe that, uh, that, that uh, Romney was ousted uh, because he was too strong 
he was a he was a buff man. Well, let, let's not go into Romney. He, that's irrelevant. We're not talking about Mitt Romney right now. What did you call about? I just I I, I want to validate. Um, you know, I, I want to tell you, Doctor, you're not the only one with the platform. I I'm not as educated as you are, but I. All right. Thanks for the call again. A, a rumble job. A mumble job. I don't know, the callers now are all over the map. I don't even know how they're getting on the show. How is Hillary doing? Is there a woman in the audience who wants to comment on this? Cynthia, SBA Radio in Pennsylvania. Cynthia, how is Hillary doing? Thank you, Dr. Savage. I have not been watching it. I've just been fuming. Um, I had an idea today, and I called my representative, Scott Perry. Ma'am, ma'am, you I haven't watched the hearings at all? Committee, give... Ma'am, ma'am, have, have you watched the hearings at all? I'm sorry, I have not, Dr. Savage. All right, thanks for the call. I'm sorry. I've asked for people who are watching the hearings how they're doing. I have no idea who's getting on the show here. So I'll read this something. I'll read you something I can control because I cannot control the calls, the callers, or the music, the sound bites. I can't control any of it. I'll read what I can control, which is my own mind. This morning, a major article came out by a major figure in the media who says we've lost the battle. This major media figure said, we've lost the battle. The world is changing in ways you could never have imagined. It's a lead article on World Net Daily. I've linked it up on michaelsavage.com. And here's what this media figure wrote. He said, a major battle in a war over the future of Western civilization has been lost as millions of migrants from the Middle East who largely oppose Judeo-Christian values and have no intention of assimilating flood the United States, Britain, France, Germany, and other nations. This far-seeing media figure said he received an email from someone he described as far smarter than I and far seeing. And he said to me, it's over. Paraphrasing the email, the media giant said that what German Chancellor Angela Merkel is doing to Germany, what the weakling is doing to England, what the socialist is doing to France, what Obama the psychopath is doing to America will render this country non-existent in less than 50 years. And I said to him, maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong. But the fact of the matter is, the world is changing in ways you could never have imagined. The media figure later affirmed to a caller that he hasn't given up, Noticed, noting that he presents in his upcoming book, Government Zero, 40 actions to save America. We haven't lost the war. The war has just begun, said Savage, because 30 million to 40 million Americans have finally awakened to what the psychopath has done to this country, and they want to stop him from doing more damage. They want to stop him before it's too late. Savage criticized President Obama, British PM, Cameron, Chancellor Merkel, other Western leaders with a provocative comparison he recognized could be misunderstood. They are doing, he said, what Adolf Hitler did in reverse. Instead of invading other countries, they are letting foreigners invade their own nations. Savage said Hitler was a psychopath who invaded other countries to impose his nations, let us say, his distorted values and race on other countries. What is Obama doing, Savage asked. He's invading his own country with people of other races and other cultures and other languages to wipe away the predominant language, the predominant culture of his own nation. He is equally evil. Write it down, Savage said. Maybe you'll make it to the news media. Talk show host says Obama as crazy as Hitler because he's invading his own country. But they better get the whole quote correct, and I don't know if they're capable of it. Savage said Merkel is invading Germany with foreigners. She's invading her own nation. Regarding the war for, for Western civilization, which was l built largely on English common law, Judeo-Christian morality, and the uniquely American principles of individual, individualism and self-reliance, Savage also referenced the Cultural Revolution of the 1960s. Some 50 years later, he said, can anyone say that has worked out well? And if I remember, I then read about sex change operations in Jerry Brown's prisons being paid for by taxpayers. This is the Savage Nation. The phone number here is 855-407-282. WABC, Dennis, how is Hillary doing is the main question. Your opinion counts. Well, my opinion is based on <clears throat> what I've seen from Hillary today. Uh, I, <clears throat> I listened to... <clears throat> Pardon me. I listened to uh, War another winning call. Oh, no. Thanks for the call. I'm, I'm really batting a thousand today. It's as though I'm asking a question. I'm getting callers for another radio show. This is three in a row now. Jim, 
Hey, Jim, attention, Jim, call screener. What's going on? Is everybody on drugs? I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE.